Okay, so today we are going to set, learn how to set up homing positions on our version 2 of our Matrix style bottle capper. Um, this style 2 is basically where we use an air solenoid to uh, control the capping unit versus a stepper motor. This makes it a little bit easier to control downforce and a whole lot easier to set up tray positions. Tray positions is now set up basically just like our Matrix fillers do. Um, so what we want to do is basically first thing, come to the control unit here, and we're going to click home. What that's going to do is just get the machine into position, so then it can record its positions from here. Now what we're going to do is release all the air. Um, on this one here, it's usually going to be between 8 and 9 bars on the dial when you're running, but I'm going to just turn this knob here, and this is basically our downforce. Uh, air gauge, this controls how much pressure we have on the bottle. So you just want to unscrew that. And this will basically drop this guy down. If it doesn't, just push it down with your hand. Next, we need to also drop all the air pressure out of the capping unit. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn it clockwise, basically. And you can hear all the air coming out of it. Or you could just disconnect your airline at your compressor. But I want to make sure I have no air, so that way when I push on this, nothing's going to happen. And um, this guy's all the way down, and I have full control of it with my hand. Then I'm going to use a screwdriver here and just push on the little ball here and take off my chuck. Now what we need to do is just get this capping unit right over our first bottle. The bottle is always going to be in the upper right-hand corner. And there's usually always a mark on our tray. The trays are removable, so you want to make sure it is back against all the backstops. And back against this, this, this backstop, this backstop, and all the back ones. That's your position. Now what we are going to do is manually jog the machine to that bottle. So on the control screen here, I'm just going to put a, a feed rate of 5,000. If you're new to this, maybe start with a feed rate of 1,000 or 2,000. I'm also going to put a distance of 25. And I'm going to use this X minus button here. What that's going to do is jog the capping head to the left. If you look at the capping unit, capping spindle, and I push the X minus button, it's going to actually move over. This is just called a manual jog. Now what I'm going to do is hit the Y minus button right here. And what that's going to do is bring my tray out. And as we get closer, we're actually going to make our distance get a little smaller. So I'm going to go back to the user interface. I'm going to put a distance of 1, which is basically 1 millimeter. And we're just going to, we're just going to barely move it here. You see that increments get real small, and I'm just pushing this Y minus button. And what I want to do is get this head right over the top of our bottle. And so I get it kind of close without the cap on, cap on there. You know, I'll look at it straight on this way, this way, making sure I'm pretty much right on it. And that looks pretty close. So then what I'm going to do is just put this guy back on. Again, make sure you have no air going to the machine or you shut off your valves here. I'm going to put the cap on and just put it down. What I'm looking for is to making sure that it's right, right around the cap. All the way around so I'm a little off I think I'm a little bit too far or I need to go a little bit more to the left so I'm just gonna manually jog it over one more that's about where I want it everything looks nice and straight on there and good so now what I'm gonna do is just do the same thing I'm just gonna take this chuck off just let the machine drop and then what I'm going to do is go over to the user interface here. And you could set up to six start locations. We're going to set up this for start location 2 or G55. So I'm going to click that under configure start location and bold here. And I'm just going to click set. And then what I'm going to do is down here, 
you have a set start location. This set start location will save with your program. So if I change my set start location to number 2 or G55 here, every time we load this program, it's going to go to that start location. And I'll show you that here in a second. What I'm going to do is just uh, go ahead and home the machine again. So we configured the start location. We set it. Um, I also brought up my set start location to the second one too, or G55. And then why this is homing, what I'm going to do is actually go to the bottle count here. And I'm going to put it to one bottle. And what that should do is just pretend like it's capping one bottle. So now I have my uh, air still off and I'm just going to hit start cycle. And this should go right to the top of my bottle. Which it did. Um, so now what I can do is save my program by clicking save program there. Save it whatever name you want up here and go ahead and click save. And now anytime you reload up that program, it's also going to populate the set start location. So now this tray is configured to G55 or start location 2. And you can see both those numbers in here. And you can see that we configured it to 2 there. If you have any questions on this, please go to www.rockymountainplc.com. We'd be more than happy to help you out. Thank you.